Hi, today's problem is in tomatoes there are two alleles that affect stem color, one purple and another one green. We designate them with uh, capital P and small p. The following rows are performed with these results. And here you have to fill uh, genotypes and phenotypes uh, depending on the offspring phenotypes. And how we are going to solve this problem? Actually, this is very easy. So we told that we have two um, alleles. One is purple and another one is green. And purple, as you see, uh, designated with capital P. So we know that this is dominant trait or allele. So we use capital P. So one uh, variant that is possible is capital P, capital P, and this is going to be purple flower. Another genotype that is possible can be capital P and small p, and this is also going to be uh, phenotypically purple flower. And the last uh, possible genotype can be small p, small p. And this is going to be a uh, green colored stem plant and this is going to be uh, purple um, purple colored stem and this one also going to be purple colored stem. So uh, in order to solve this problem first we have to find what is the ratios that we have here. So here we have uh, one to one ratio. Here we have three to one ratio and here we have one to zero and the last one one to one. Uh, so as you see the numbers here is not uh, the same but very close to each other so we may say that this is almost one to one and uh, here is 3 to 1, those not exactly, but this is just uh, the closest estimation and we just round numbers. So in order to solve which uh, crossing may give us such uh, ratios, we just have to use Punnett square and here I will draw first Punnett square and I will use On the top, uh, purple flower that is going to be uh, homozygous dominant, and uh, on the side I would use uh, another flower that is going to be green, and that is going to be um, small p, small p. So here we have, we can put small piece in every cell and here we also add capital P in every cell. So when we cross these two parents that one going to be purple stemmed plant and this one going to be green stemmed plant all of our plants going to be uh, look phenotypically like purple flower. Those genotypically going to be different from both of the parents. So we have here uh, number 3 where we have 1 to 0 ratio so uh, we can put uh, our parent uh, phenotype and genotype so we have to cross homozygous dominant plant with homozygous recessive and this is uh, outcome that we expect. So all of the progeny would be um, we also may call it F1 generation uh, all the progeny going to be of uh, only one color that is going to be purple. So now let's solve, for example, 
number 4 that is going to be one to one ratio and we uh, can uh, put for one parent once again uh, this is going to be purple stemmed parent but uh, heterozygous so it's going to be capital P and small p and another plan going to be uh, homozygous recessive and once again we build a Punnett square and here our outcomes so I would put small p in every cell and here we uh, have also small p and here we have capital P so that means that 50% of our plants would be purple and 50% would be green in other words this is one to one ratio so we put parent one capital P small p and the other parent would be small p small p so this would produce us this ratio one to one or fifty percent and fifty percent and also we may put uh, same parents for number one so this is going to be capital P small p we have to cross with homozygous recessive and we only left with, as you see, this is also one to one ratio. And we only left with number two. And this time we are going to cross uh, heterozygous plant with heterozygous plant. And here, what we uh, can expect. So, in first cell, we are going to have capital P, capital P, and here we are going to have capital P and small p, and here we are going to have uh, capital P, small p. And in the last box, we are going to have small p, small p. So as you see, all these three genotypes are going to produce one phenotype. That is going to be purple stemmed plant. And only one out of four would produce a green stemmed plant. So this is going to be... 3 to 1 ratio and we have uh, here 3 to 1 ratio so we can put parents genotypes as capital P small p and capital P small p so all this for phenotypes would be red stemmed plant those genotypes as you see can be different and here we have green stemmed plant that is phenotypically green except number two that we have to cross two purple stemmed plant and we are going to get uh, three uh, purple stemmed plant and one or three to one ratio green stemmed uh, plant so as you see here this is 3 to 1 ratio uh, that's all for today uh, I hope now you would be able easily to solve such problems if you find them in the future in your uh, test exam uh, please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day goodbye